In this module, you will learn about one of these groups, the Himalayan mountains. The Himalayas are fold mountains that cover the northern border of India. They are geologically young as compared to other mountain ranges. The Himalayan range is the highest and the most rugged mountain range in the world. It extends from the river Indus in the west to the Brahmaputra in the east, forming an arc of about 2,400 kilometers. The width of this range varies. For instance, in Kashmir, the range is 400 kilometers wide. While in Arunachal Pradesh, the width decreases to 150 kilometers. If you compare the eastern and the western halves of the range, then you will find considerably more difference in the altitudes of various mountains in the western half. The Himalayas are formed from three parallel ranges of mountains. The Himadri, the Himachal, and the Shivaliks. Several valleys lie between these mountain ranges. The Himadri, also called the Great or Inner Himalayas, is the northernmost range of the Himalayas. This range is in a single, unbroken line and has the highest peaks. Considering that the average height of peaks in the Himadri is 6,000 meters. It is not surprising to note that the important peaks of the Himalayas are located in this range. For example, Mount Everest, the highest peak in the world, and Mount Godwin Austin, the second highest peak in the world, are all part of this range. Mount Everest is located in Nepal, while Mount Godwin Austin is in Ladakh in India. As mentioned earlier, the Himalayas are fold mountains. However, the great Himalayan folds are not completely symmetrical. This is why the peaks dip slightly away from the center. The core of the Himalayan range is composed of granite. The lofty heights of the mountains of the Great Himalayan Range mean that the peaks are snow-clad all the year round. As a result, no vegetation grows on these mountains. However, several glaciers, such as the Gangotri and the Saichan, originate from this range. These glaciers feed rivers that form the source of water for a large part of the population. The Zoji La Pass is also situated in the Great Himalayan Range. This pass is the only link between Ladakh and Kashmir. The next range, which is known as the Himachal, is located south of the Greater Himalayas. The height of mountains in this range is between 3,700 and 4,500 meters, as against the average height of 6,000 meters in the Great Himalayas. Hence, this range is also referred to as the Lesser Himalayas. The average width of the Himachal range is 50 kilometers. This range has the roughest terrain among all the mountain ranges in the world. The terrain of the mountain range is composed of highly compressed rocks that have undergone considerable change in composition or appearance. In other words, the Himachal is made up of altered rocks. Let us look at some of the prominent ranges in the Himachal. The Pir Panjal is the longest range in the Lesser Himalayas. 
the other notable ranges are the Dhaula Dhar and the Mahabharat. These ranges are famous for their beauty and are a major tourist attraction for people the world over. The Himachal Range is also well known for its hill stations such as Dalhousie, Shimala, Rani Khet, and Nainital. Of these, Dalhousie and Shimala are located in Himachal Pradesh, while Rani Khet and Nainital are part of Uttarakhand. The most picturesque of valleys, the Kashmir, Kulu and Kangara valleys in Himachal Pradesh are part of this area. The range south of the Himachal, that is, the outermost range of the Himalayas, is the Shivalik range. The Shivaliks are 10 to 50 kilometers wide. The heights of these mountains range from 900 to 1100 meters. Thus, as you can see, the Shivaliks form the lowest range of the Himalayas. This is because this range is built from loose sediments brought down by the rivers flowing from the main Himalayan ranges located up north. The sediment consists of broken stones and soil. Therefore, the valleys of the Shivalik region are covered with thick gravel and alluvium. You may have heard of Dehradun. The famous hill station of Masuri is located in the Dehradun Valley in the state of Uttarakhand. The longitudinal valleys that lie between the Himachal and the Shivaliks are known as dunes. That's how the most famous valleys, including Dehradun, Kotlidun, and Patlidun, got their names. Kotlidun is located in the Jammu region and is known for its scenic beauty. And you must have all heard about the Jim Corbett National Park. This park is located in the Partly Dun region. We just looked at the longitudinal divisions of the Himalayas. The Himalayas are also divided into regions from west to east. You can make out these regions if you look at the demarcations between river valleys. Let's look at some examples of these divisions. First, let's consider the area between the Indus and the Satluj. This area has been traditionally known as the Punjab Himalaya. Nanga Parbat is the highest peak in Punjab Himalaya. However, on the basis of regional divisions of the Himalayas. Locally, it is also called Kashmir in the west and Himachal Himalaya in the east. To take another example, the Kumaon Himalayas is the name used regionally for the portion of the Himalayas between the Satluj and the Kali rivers. Nanda Devi is the highest peak in this region. The hill stations Nainital and Rani Khet are located in the Kumaon region. Similarly, the area that lies between the Kali and the Tista rivers is known as the Nepal Himalayas. The Assam Himalayas refer to the region between the Tista and the Dihang rivers. As we move east, we come to the division of the Himalayas called the Puravanchal or the Eastern Hills and Mountains. The Brahmaputra 
forms the easternmost boundary of the Puravanchal region. The Brahmaputra breaks through the Himalayas to form some deep valleys or gorges. One such valley is Arunachal Pradesh in the Dihang Gorg. Beyond the Dihang Gorg, the Puravanchal hills dip sharply southwards and stretch out along the eastern borders of India. Thus, the Puravanchal hills extend through the northeastern states of India. The Puravanchal hills are covered by thick forests and mostly consist of parallel ranges and valleys. Strong sandstone, a type of sedimentary rock, is the main component of these mountains. Let's take a closer look at the Puravanchal range. The Puravanchal range is made up of the Patkai hills, the Naga hills, the Manipur hills and the Mizo hills. That was a brief overview of the Great Himalayas. Here's a quick recap of what you've covered so far. In this module, you learned that the Himalayas are geologically young fold mountains. The Himalayan mountains consist of three parallel ranges the Great or Inner Himalayas or the Himadri, the Lesser Himalayas or the Himachal, the Shivaliks, the highest peaks such as Mount Everest and Mount Godwin Austin are part of the Great Himalayas. Going from west to east, the Himalayas can be divided into a number of regions demarcated by rivers. The Punjab Himalayas are located between the Indus and the Sutlej rivers. The Kumaon Himalayas are located between the Satlij and the Kali rivers. The Nepal Himalayas are located between the Kali and the Tista rivers. The Assam Himalayas are located between the Tista and the Dihang rivers. The Puravanchal area is bounded by the Brahmaputra. This region is made up of the Patkai Hills, the Naga Hills, the Manipur Hills and the Mizo Hills. Yeah.